Hello everyone! Welcome to round 11 of the 2020 VFC season. We are here in Spa-Francorchamps for the Belgian Grand Prix. Summer break is finally over, so we can get back to racing. As you can see on the track surface, it's not completely dry, but also not completely wet as well. So difficult conditions again. My favorite part of the track, the Eau Rouge Radillon, which makes it very famous, but also the very fast fluent flow of the track with heavy braking zones like the bus stop chicane, which we end the lap with, but also the elevation changes around the forest of the Ardennes, like here, then going uphill again for a fanier and so on. One lap is 7.004 kilometers, the longest lap in the calendar, 33 times Janus Walborn, the last year's winner. At the same time, Rene Weller is going out for his qualifying run. For my run, I will use the wet tire, so it's gonna be a slippery lap. Okay, the lap starts now. Going towards La Soris turn one, careful under braking. Oh, nice drift. Also struggling under acceleration, not sure whether it's the better way or not. But now we go towards Eau Rouge. I lift it. At this time I lift it, it's pretty wet, 77% um, well, wetness. So now using all the six gear up to 300, braking at 100 meters. Also in second gear, get around very, very careful. It's not worth to risk everything for nothing. Because I know that the qualifying session is already lost. I will never be in a top 10, as the first guys are. Um, had his had their laps in better conditions, and it gets worse and worse every minute. So downhill, easy, good. Now Puhon, again boost three maximum. Yeah, careful with the track limit. Now going towards Fanny Chicane. Waiting waiting for the tires to get the grip and uh, Yeah, the typical tire problem. Now Stavolo 1. Lift short shift to stabilize the car through Stavolo 2. And now it's actually well using your speed advantage. I have a low down for setup, which is uh, made for dry. Hoping that it's gonna dry out. At the same time, now braking for the bus stop, very, very careful, even too early, because I was too afraid of overshooting the corner or just spin around. Picking up the traction, uh, and we did a two minute 1.3, putting myself up to P11. There were some different guys who were a bit quicker than myself, so I will start from P15. So we are on the right side of the grid. Now the lights are on. Searching for the refs, and away we go! Lights are out. Good start with a short shift, good track. What? Whoa, whoa. whoa, no! Holy fuck, what was that? Weller on the outside. Is he on slick tires? The both Weller is on slick tires. No fucking way, I have a damage. I have damage, I have no front wing. No! I can't believe it. So now I gotta get. Yeah. I had to react, I had to brake, um, otherwise I would have run into a Volksmobile car. Possibly he had to react himself. Now just cutting. No, there's there's no no grip at all. Just rejoining carefully. I was eighth. Now I'm ninth and tenth, and I will be eleventh, twelfth, and what goes it goes down. Oh, so not not even left the the starting grid and. Uh, I got the first problems. Exactly. So brim the car to the full is the only option now. Um, getting new, t uh, new wet tires and uh, brim the car to the top to see what happens. 
Um, you just barely see uh, that everyone is now uh, quicker than, than myself, of course. Uh, I'm missing a lot of downforce. Oh, Dominic Cyborg is out. Okay. Safety car, safety oh. car leader's going to set the pace, safety car. Okay, so I get a free stop. So I not okay. lose too Doesn't much. Repair. Exactly, I can repair my damage and um, just be at, at the rear end of the field. So Dominic Cyborg, a new driver who uh, who's had his first experience, but a pretty short-lifted though. So after two laps of safety car, now I'm on P17, so I actually just lost out two places, and still not last. Now green flag, with front wing and with, um, yeah, wet tires. One one driver is going to the pits to surface penalty, oh! Greulich hat sich weggehauen. Johannes Greulich, he has huge problems, he crashes car away, so I pick up his place, P15. Actually, my starting place. Now, Trevor, no, Travis Carter is ahead. Let's see what we can do with him. Using full engine boost, but still careful. Verwarnung, Pascal Polens moving under braking. Okay, so first warning. Now, using a slipstream, Malaika is behind. What is he doing? No, he's not attacking. Okay, oh, yellow flag. Luca Zorn is. Looking at the grass, okay. So P14. Can't believe that he, where he finishes at the end. But kudos to him, he did everything right. But uh, let's don't rush ahead. We're still in, P, uh, in P14, in lap three. The dirty air is pretty pretty heavy for, the, for this track, uh, despite having low wings. I think my wing setup was four to one. Um, up, up, up. That was close. It's so difficult to uh, to get it right where the people in front of you can break, where you can break, and uh, what the guy behind you is is doing. You know. Still same rate intensity of four percent. Actually, it's now a full wet race. But I'm unable to get closer to those two guys, to Schumacher and Carter. Also having an eye on Malaika, who is who is in a fight with Danny Weller. <clears throat> now getting around the bus stop chicane, try to to look for a good traction. Malaika had a, had some better. Drive-through penalty, Kevin Peters. Aktion gegen Luca Zorn. Okay, so there is a Pope. He caught me napping. He caught me napping. To be honest, I didn't even um, expect him to to put his nose into Lasaurus, but he did. So kudos to him. He caught me. But now, what's gonna happen now? Soren and Weller, the other Weller is in behind those two guys, so... Oh no no no! Oh, oh man! Warning, unsponsored black flag, yeah, sure. Shit. Shit! Sorry, Yannick. Didn't want to do that, just uh... <sighs> yeah, I was already expecting a penalty, a drive-through penalty. Um, that, that's... And that's the issue, kind of, you know, I, I got so much more speed that, um, you know, ah, ah, that stinks. Just keep on going now, I mean, P18, okay, it's uh, pretty early on in the race, just for a lap and see what's happened. I mean, that's for sure, I will get a penalty, so... Just stay, try to stay on a, on a dry line. You can see it already. Stop and go penalty for Larry Oof. Fischer causing a collision. S yeah, klar, give me gleich stop and stop go. And go. Yeah, okay. I was expecting a drive through penalty, but uh, stop and go, yeah. Why the hell not? 
So, well, <laughs> that's that's a tough one to swallow. That's really tough. But I think I will. I'm gonna serve it right now because um, I'm not really gaining. So let's do it right now, and at least I will have some uh, some free air in front of me. So rejoining the racetrack on P20 Plum Last, but as you can see, nobody's ahead of me. Cooper McAllister, the guy in front of me, is 10, 11 seconds ahead. So the good thing is that. Now I just can go my pace without any obstacles around and just see what drive through penalty for Alexander Knizovic oh. dangerous driving and dangerous re-entry to Okay. The I was expecting to get myself another penalty. Um <laughs> but okay. Fortunately it wasn't me. So just now, you know, after such a difficult start, try to get back your rhythm. Try to get back what what you learned, what you've learned in in the past few days, and uh, just just get yourself into it. So let's follow this lap, how it's going. Now again, dry line here. Gonna be difficult at the end of the lap as the tires are get really really hot. Now missing the corner a bit again. There is another incident be between Schluter and Walborn. Okay, get out of Blanchima 2. Very careful again. The try the car tries to oversteer, and as you can see, the the tires get harder and harder, especially the the inside of it. But uh, exactly, cool down the tires on the wet patches and now again very difficult but very cautiously into the bus stop pick up the traction and that was lap 5 the fastest lap is uh, one, 1 minute 57 while oop, uh, my is 2 minute 2 that's huge and from that point on there's not, not much going on just um, cooling the tires doing my pace and actually just waiting just wait for another safety car, which brings me back. So as I'm still plan last, I try to gamble a bit. The rain tires are still overheating. It's get it, it's getting even more difficult to to stay on track, um, especially on a on a dry line. So I was thinking, you know what? Let's let's yeah, just give me one second. Let's try let's try something different. First difficulties are here offline, of course, but as long as I can stay on the dry line, it's gonna be all right. That's what I thought. So going through Radion is okay. Mm -hmm. And now let's see what's gonna happen. So it's definitely a good gamble because I'm, as I said, I'm last. I have nothing to lose. So let's see what happens. Okay. Nine. Oh, something happened to Yannick. Oh, I think I know what happened. Oof. And off you go. No, ju oh, you just slide away. Running track cut, really? <laughs> so th this is what happens if you just go offline for just a little bit. You just slide away as as if it's ice, you know? But keep on going, keep on trying, try to, to get your rhythm again and um, also the confidence that you can stay in, in between the dry line, you know? Yep, but you see me struggling? No, again... Oh, uh, okay, you should have stayed on the dry line, dude, but I think it's too early. It's too early for, for dry tires. I think it's a missed call. Let's give it another try. Yeah, that's what I think as well. Breaking now for a bus stop. 
That's okay. Oh, mm -hmm. And the traction is good as well. So if you stay on a dry line, what I don't now again, and it just spins you around. It's um, it's incredible. You have zero zero grip. I'm losing more and more time, and I think now I recognize. Yeah. Drive-through penalty for nope. Yannick Barbic no. causing a collision and dangerous no. re-entry to the track. Oh. Yannick gets a drive-through penalty. Mm -hmm. Oh man. It's, the drive huh? it's not going well for our team. And I fucked up my strategy, so getting back to to wet tires. Try to get the car back. Um, yeah, without a damage uh, at, at best. But you know what? Apparently, I wasn't last. I was on P20, now I'm on P21. But okay, second last, uh, or last, it's... Um, actually, I don't, I don't care. Um, all I care about is... Yeah, try to get back the car. Oh. Absolutely zero grip offline. You know, I spin away... Now I just hope that nobody is behind. Oh, there's one coming. Okay, Tim Brendel, the current leader of the race. Just um, stay on the grass, don't, uh, don't get in his way. Um, I think Yannick, Yannis Walborn is in behind. Now it's getting even more tricky for me because to um, to let him go, I have to get back on on a, on a wet line. Oh, Poland's on second! Wow, amazing. And now I'm really un unsure what to do and where the next is. So I think now this is Walborn exactly. Now let's break here, keep the car straight, let him just go, because I will definitely slow him down if I don't. And I'll crawl back to to the pit crew. What? Yan Yannick is out? No fucking no fucking way. If we can't get any luck, we will get any bad luck either. Safety car, safety car, safety car. <sighs> okay, second safety car. I I got fresh rubber, full fuel tank, so possibly a good thing for me. So I can unlap myself. And that's exactly what happened. Now the safety car is over, the race is free to go again, and I'm in the same lap again. Patrick Newman struggling, apparently, is he, on, is he on slicks? He's driving in the middle, is he defending? Okay, he all breaks himself. That's the main interesting thing now. So many people use the chance, the, use the safety car to pit in, because everybody sees what we see, that the racing line is dry. So many people used the chance to get to get into the pits to to get um, to go for a dry tie. Oh, Pascal Poland's over there. He must uh, must have been spun away. Many people used the chance to get on slick tires, but what what I've experienced is that it's way too slippery for them. And the heavyweight tire is currently the best choice. And you see them struggling. Now I'm closing Party down on Cooper McAllister. Oh, Bob. Bob on it. Okay. There must have been a collision as well. And Max Schluter in, uh, in a barrier without a rear wing. So now I'm P14. Okay. Cooper McAllister is on dry tires as well. That's why he's struggling. Walborn is now behind. He's quicker on whatever tires uh, he's got. I mean, it's the best driver in a, in a field, so... And he spuns away as well, too. I think Bastian, Bastian Peisler ahead of, of those two is also on dry tires. They do all the mistake I've... I've done previously. Oh, 
Holy oh, shit! <laughs> that was fucking close. Whew. And this is what I mean. This is what I experienced myself. It's way too. It's way too wet, offline. Paisel now misses the chicane. Now I'm on P12. I'm in the points. Rainy Weller in a barrier. 11th. Groylik, what is he doing? Kevin Peters as well. I think Groylik is. Yeah, I can see the green stripe. He is on wet tires. Peters is not. Oof, that was. Uh... Yep. Now just get him. So I'm on P. Just remember, not even two laps ago, I was one lap down. Now I'm on 10th place. <laughs> Holy cow. I like when tournaments can turn around themselves that safety much. Car, safety car, leader is going to set the pace on start from your straight safety car. Okay. Third safety car. Boxengasse is geschlossen. Mark Schlüter, bitte sofort abstellen. Okay. So pit and, um, the, the pits are closed for whatever reason. But now I'm just calculating. Is it enough fuel? Do I have enough fuel to, to get through the end? Because I don't want to give up the track position. I'm now on P10. I'm now on P10. I don't want to give it up. Now Peter is missing the chicane as well. I mean, he left the track, so I'm allowed to get by him. And I'm on ninth place. <laughs> Damit verliere ich aber die Track Position gerade, weil die fahren jetzt alle gleich rein. Mm -hmm. That's a discussion about it. Okay. That's a discussion about uh, about fueling and about track position. Apparently, I will have to get uh, to to the pits. Although, I don't know. Maybe it's enough. 13 laps. We're just about to finish the 17th lap. So 18, 18 plus 13 is 31. We are two laps short. There's Schlüter, there's Peisler, both are lapped. Ich wollte nur wissen, ob das mit dem Sprit ausgeht, weil wir ja nicht wissen, wie lange die Safety Car Phase andauert. Boxengasse ist wieder geöffnet, Boxengasse ist wieder geöffnet. Okay. Pits are reopened. Unfortunately, I'm, I got past it, so I have to go for another lap behind Fabian Jungblut. So now we finally decide to get into the pits and to have a splash and dash. Possibly I will need it. Although, although maybe if there's there's gonna be another safety car, we might we might get it. But now it's getting busy, busy in the pits. So Walborn, I saw he's getting back to wet tires. Peisler does as well. I think McAllister does as well. So okay, I lost only three positions, and I'm on P12. Still not sure about that. I mean, 80 liters in my car towards the end should should make it. Yeah, that's for sure. Now I'm definitely in the points. And some of some of those guys I had are still on, on dry tires. So maybe there's a good chance to pick up some more places. But first, let's end up the safety car. So, green flag again. Schubert ahead of me on wet tires. Trevor, uh, Travis Carter is on wet. One guy, Kevin Peters, is going to the pits to serve his penalty. Oh, and now, can I get both? Can I? Oof. Okay, okay. Oh, Carter is drifting through Lasaurus, but he got the upper hand. Wow, good. So, P11 got the place back, uh, or got, got one place after Kevin Peters is going to the pits for, for his penalty. Now what's gonna happen now? Cooper McAllister and Walborn behind Schubert and Trevor, Travis Carter. Oh, can I get better? <sighs> no, no. Okay. Kannst du rückfahren? Ja. But okay, I there's. Einer in, aber frei für dich. I lost nothing but a bit of time. Oof. 
I wanted to get them both, but uh, I, I was so un, un, unsecured and breaking, man. Oh, and I. The last thing I wanted is to have another collision and breaking like I had with Malaika. Yannick Malaika must the position of Arnold Schumacher to return, causing a collision. So now Walborn getting through myself, and I'm back on P12. No contention ag against him. Let him do his thing. What is going on there? Yeah. Poland's on medium tires on on drive on drive rubber. Spun and right. I got through him. So now if he can hold up a bit, the other guys, it's gonna help me a lot. Who? That's really interesting from from that point on, because I know that I'm. I'm in a better position, maybe a bit overfueled, but I'm in a good position. Okay, Poland and McAllister are sorting it out. Oh, I think he spun. Okay, don't care now. My main focus is Travis Carter. Okay, get around it. He's got grip, he's got traction, Sven Schubert is exiting the pits, or did he almost spun as well? He complained, so he, I think there was a... There happened something, so he, he certainly not exited the pits. I think that was a cut, but now he's mine. Yep, using the boost, using the seventh gear. Getting back to the dry line. Okay, so Groylik on P9, good job, after crashing hard at the start-finish rate, getting up to P9 is, is amazing, so good job dude. But now I'm, <laughs> again. Kevin Peters, bitte langsam zurück zur Box fahren. Mhm. Okay. Es gibt eine 10 Sekunden Zeitstrafe für René Vela nach dem Rennen, causing a collision. Diese wird aufs Rennergebnis draufgerechnet. Okay, another penalty. So Johannes Groylik is struggling. He's holding me up a bit through sector 2. While Schubert is fighting against Jungblut at that moment. And Travis Carter and McAllister are just around a second behind. Ah, I have to lift here. Eine 10 Sekunden Strafe aufs Rennergebnis für Johannes Greulich causing oh. a collision. So now getting past him through the best stop chicane while he gets another penalty. Or not, sorry, not another, but he gets a penalty <laughs> at the same time. Good, I'm on P9. Good job. Oh, Jungblut, is he? Yes! Safety car, safety car, safety car. Oh, no! He has to set the pace at start, finish straight, safety car. Okay, very good, very good, very good. Boah, bitte ich an der Stelle. Ich muss runter auf 1, dass du dich drücken kannst, aber Engine Mixture oben lassen, weil sonst hast du viel Sprit. Good idea, yeah. Stimmt. Good idea? Stimmt, genau, yeah. So, even now I have fuel for 15 laps, even though we have to go for 10 more. Ja, ich weiß nicht, ob Jungblut jetzt noch in die Box fährt. Ah! I could have got I could have got young blood right away. But I'm on P9. So a little update from my teammate Yannick, who's not in a, in a race anymore. P9, cool the tires, do your regular job, and hopefully now for the final run. Okay, green flag again. I'm not allowed to overtake young blood. At that stage, so I have to wait. So I have to prepare a good exit out of the chicane. And there I see people struggling. So there is some chance. There is a better chance for more. Oh, but breaking careful. Groylik still behind. Malaika and you. Oh, the. Okay, Schumacher spun away. Both on, on dry tires still. Oh. Uh, what the? There was a crash be between Malaika and Jungblut. Well, I'll try to. Holy fuck, I'm on P5. 
vorne jetzt. Holy ja. shit. Okay, okay, keep keep your cool, keep your cool, just do your job. I don't think there is much more to 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 gain. Look at Zorn on P3, which sucks for us, for our team as the Equipo Zaldo is the team ahead of us in a constructors championship, so if he finishes third, they they're gonna be, I think, uncatchable for us anymore. Which sucks, but okay. But still, I'm on P5. It's it's a good thing. I like her 1.2 seconds behind. I don't even think that I'll I'll have a chance to get to Sven Schubert. So let those two guys do their thing. Let's keep on keep on holding for the for the good position. If I get sixth or seventh, god damn it, it's good. It's amazing for for us. Especially for myself, I'll, I really need it. Oof. Okay, now I think... Uh, now McAllister is being with... Where is Malaika? Don't have to care about him now. Now I have to l have a look at McAllister. What is he doing? He's coming closer. Because I have no momentum out of Stavolo 2. Ah, I think I should have moved over aggr more aggressive to the dry line to force him to go to the wet. Yeah, come to it, come Ah. Oh, that cost me so much. Now I'm seventh. Shit. Ah. Okay. Okay. It's it's all right. It's it, it was pretty random. I I did I did not expect to. I did not expect to. Yeah, random. exactly. I did not the uh, um, did not expect the car to to oversteer there. Ten seconds time strafe on the result for Marvin Schumacher causing a collision. So McAllister and Pais are now in a fight, waiting carefully behind them. No, oh, he's okay. That's an interesting fight to watch. And to be honest, I don't want to be a part of. Now just stay behind. Tim Brendel is now catching up. Well, I, I keep on struggling with uh, dirty air. Somebody has no rear wing. Well, Brendel tried to... Tries to... Johannes Greulich, bitte vorsichtig an die Box. Oh, Greulich is the guy without rear wing. But looking good. 27th lap and I'm on P7. I think I'm about to be on P8 as I think Tim Brendel is the fastest guy on the track. Oof. That was a tricky moment. Now again, regain the confidence. Regain the... Yep, now he's going. But I don't want to give up, give up the position either. No, no. Oh. Why? And Kevin Peters gets through. Now I pick up huge damage. Have to get through the chicane. Oh. And Gaggiano is getting past me too. So my MP10. No! I was fifth! I was fucking fifth! Ah, oh, shit. Now I'm, now I'm on 10th. You can argue, why, did you, why didn't you lift it? In um, Blanchimau 2. And my, my question back is, why should I? It, it's my corner and he's so fucking quick. He, he could have got me easily through the bus stop chicane. Why? why why was he willing to take such a high risk through a corner where it's so extremely difficult to retake unless you have 500% more grip? Yep, now I spend. Now the car is really damaged. It just. There you go, P11 and 12. Poland's 35 seconds behind, so actually I just should limp it back. Drive through penalty for Tim Brandel causing a collision. Okay, so Tim Brandel gets a penalty for that. And now now I got the struggle. I mean I have to limp back. I have to limp through the race now till the end with that, such a highly damaged car. 
the rear tires are overheating. Yeah, just yeah, the damage is too stark. And the Reifen yeah, too high. By spinning, they 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 get so much harder. In it's now I have to do everything to cool them down and keep the car on track at the same time. So let's let's think back a few laps ago. I was on P5. Okay, I did a mistake. I lost two places. I was on P7. Tim Brandle was behind. He's the quickest guy on on a track. I, I would have been P8. P8. I, I think it, it means four points or five or so. I, I don't know how many points I, I, I should have got for for P8. But now I'm I'm 12. It's only a single point. A single point. I was so close to do something great. Grolich is in a, in a pit to get his rear wing reattached. Now there's there was something happening with Travis Travis Carter. I think he spun as well. So there's a chance to get P11. Maybe double up my point my point stat. But with his, such a high highly damaged car, it's um. It doesn't feel right anymore, you know? So it's it's a really high risk now to go for another point or maybe just stay behind. Stay behind and, and, and you know, settle for what I got. Settle for what I get. And Pascal Polens is now 26 behind. So if he's, cl he's closing down fast enough, it might be extremely difficult to keep on uh, to, to to keep on holding for, for the final point, but I see even with the damaged car, I'm quicker than the cover. But the dirty air again, you just can't get around the corner even if you have no wings. So Poland's 24 seconds. My like on P14. There must be an incident as well, because he was uh, ahead of me a few laps ago. So use the boost now to get closer to him. Yeah, I think at that exact place where, uh, where I looked at it for the last time, it was around 20, 28 seconds, I guess. Yeah. It just spins by itself. Now just try to dose the, the gas pedal enough not to spin around the car again because the tires are harder than the sun now again. So at that point I really I really gave it up. I really gave it up on Travis Carter. Let him go, let him have his joy of uh, getting two points. And I try to get at least one. It's better than nothing, you know? And it's a super high fucking risk with that kind of damaged car and overheating tires, which I try to cool down now. It's so extremely difficult. Even the right side of, of the Camel Strait is also completely dry because every driver gets, gets over to that side Safety car, safety car, leaders go oh. set the pace at start, finish straight, safety car. That safety car saves me now. This saves me now. Fabian Jungl is out. Whew. So, this, that's the, actually the final result. Yep. The race will be finished under the safety car, so I'm, I, I'm definitely 12 and there is Jungblut. Ooh. He's a far away behind, uh, far, away, far away from the track. I'm not even pushing, but the car just slides away. It's, um, it's fucked up. And with that, I'm finishing on P12, holding on for one point. Could have been more. Uh, again, bad luck. All the stupidity I did with with a with a collision, with the wrong decision uh, to get on a on a wrong tire for the wrong moment, got neutralized by uh, by the safety car, where I could myself uh, could unlap myself. 
it was an interesting race from that point on. Uh, I don't know how unlucky we we can uh, we can still get, but okay. P12. Look at Zorn finished up on third position. So the team Equipo Saldo, the Spanish racing team, is certainly out of reach for us now. There he is on the right. So um, even though we get one point, we're gonna be um, second last in a in a, dry, in a in a team championship. Well, and from uh, from that point on, I would say thanks a lot for watching. Hope you really enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, at, at least from lap, I don't know what what it was, 17, 18 or some, oops, and um, 17, 18, something like that. In two weeks time, we're gonna have our home race in Monza. So tune in for that. And I would say stay healthy and goodbye.